Hi, it's another day, and guess what? Alibaba is down once again. It's down over 7%. This morning it was down over 8%, went to a low of 108. I did some videos this past week, and I should have listened to my own advice about hedging our portfolio, especially if we have a large position. Hedging is either buying puts or buy put debit spreads to hedge your portfolio in case something like this happened. If we go back to a four-year weekly chart, we see that it hit a low of 130. This was back in 2019. And if we had broken that support, which we did, it would turn ugly and it happened it went down below 130. It's at 113 now. And, you know, people are still saying, buy the dip, buy the dip. They've been saying that since 200, and now we are at 113. So, guys, be very cautious when you're going in to these Chinese stocks like Alibaba, Pendodo, Baidu. There's just so much uncertainty right now. Take a look at these puts that I have mentioned. There was a huge volume and open interest for the January 21, 2022 puts. Okay, so these are worth $7.45. Let's just take a look at how much they were worth last week. This week, I have mentioned these were only $2. When I did a video, it was $2. This was just over the weekend. $2 went to a high of $8. That's a total of $600 for one contract. I don't know what next week is going to be like because for the past month, it's been on a downtrend. So until something changes, it's just going to keep going down. We saw that the news came out yesterday with DD's plan to delist from the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, this is causing a lot of fear in the markets within the Chinese stocks. We also have NEO that's down quite a bit, 7%. We have Li, all the Chinese EV stocks are down. We have Baidu that's down, ooh, 7%. So guys, if you have Chinese stocks in your portfolio, do not forget to hedge, especially if you're holding a large amount of either shares or call options. On the other hand, if you believe that Chinese stocks will eventually recover, now would be a great opportunity to you know start a small position. You are getting a huge discount versus all the other people that got in at a very high price like myself. But just be aware that you know if you have gone in Alibaba this year, last year or even 2019, you didn't make any money the people that actually got in IPO price made money so far. So it might take a very long time. I just don't know where it's going to go short term and nobody really knows where it's going to go. I'm in pain and I know a lot of people are in pain right now. I'm actually very scared. So let me know in the comments down below. Are you holding strong? Are you throwing in the towel? Hopefully we can all get through this together.